Let's go through a tour of the Banking Center so that you can get familiar with it. I'll go through everything step by step in later sessions. I just want you to know your way around the Banking Center at this point. As a reminder, I am working with the sample company that you can follow along with. I provided you instructions for accessing this file in an earlier session, but here's the URL as a reminder. To access the Banking Center, go to the left navigation bar and click Banking. The Banking Center window opens, showing all accounts that are already connected to QBO. Choose each one by clicking on it. Choose an account from the drop-down. This is especially helpful if you have several accounts. For each account, we can see the bank balance, the in QuickBooks balance, the last time that the account synced with the bank, and the number of transactions that need attention. Transactions are downloaded directly from your financial institution after you connect QBO with your bank. Now let's go over some of these tabs. Here's the For Review tab. For the account selected at the top, then we see the transactions that need attention here at the bottom. These transactions are not yet in QBO. They're on hold essentially until you do something with them. Click on a transaction to view its details. Here we can see the detail. Now we can click X to close it from the right side. If transactions have already been entered in QBO, you will see a green match. That means that the transaction will not be duplicated once you add it from the Banking Center. I'll go over matching transactions later. Sometimes transactions don't match up correctly and you should know how to work with these before you start adding transactions. If a transaction has not been entered in QBO, you will generally need to add additional information, such as a vendor name and an account category. When everything has been entered, you click Add to add the transaction to QBO. I'll cover all of this in detail in a later session. The Batch Actions button allows you to work with multiple transactions at the same time. The All button shows all transactions that have been downloaded from your bank and that are not yet added to QBO. The Recognize button shows transactions that QBO is already familiar with, like match transactions. With the Print button, you can print a list of the transactions that are in the Banking Transactions window for the account selected. With the Settings icon or Gear icon, you can control which columns, transaction details, and number of rows you can see. The In QuickBooks tab shows transactions that have already been added to QBO. The Excluded tab shows you transactions that were excluded by you from being added to QBO. More on that later. From the Update button, you can refresh the sync with your bank. With the Add Account button, you can add additional bank and credit card accounts to QBO. The Go to Register link shows you the register from the chart of accounts and it shows you what's already in QBO. With this icon here, and this is my favorite shortcut, you can click to minimize the accounts window. Now you have more room to work with. And let's scroll to the bottom of the page and here we can see the page navigation in case you have multiple pages to work with. Let's go over all the various columns. Here's the Select column. You can select Transactions, the Transaction Date, the description of the transaction as it downloaded from your bank or credit card, the payee name, which can be your vendor or customer name, category or match, the category is the account from your chart of accounts, and match is this green match here if the transaction is already in QuickBooks, spent is money that you have spent or expenses, received represents money that you have received, deposited, or earned, and action. Here you can add a transaction or match to an existing transaction. For each of these columns, you can actually sort. So if we click Payee, we'll be sorting our transactions by payee name. The default is to sort by date. That concludes our tour of the Banking Transactions window. Now it's your turn. Get familiar with these features so you can get ready to master working with banking transactions.